And in a city of celebrities, tonight there are no bigger stars. It's a simple attraction. It's the top team in America, the St. John's Redmen. It's the defending national champion, Georgetown Hoyas. It's gold medalist, All-American, Chris Mullen. And his Olympic teammate, Patrick Ewing. It's little Louis Carnesecca and his lucky sweater. It's Big John Thompson, adorned with his ever-present towel. It's quite simply number one versus number two, and ESPN is proud to bring you this very special event. ESPN, the Total Sports Network, presents the game of the year. Tonight, the number two ranked Georgetown Hoyas take on the number one ranked St. John's Redmond. Tonight's game is brought to you by Chevrolet, who invites you to see today's Chevy, drive today's Chevy, live today's Chevy, and by AT&T. The more you hear, the better we sound. Welcome to sold out Madison Square Garden. It's been sold out for weeks. In scalpers' terms, this is Ali Frazier 1 or the Knicks Championship. They even talk in terms of Sinatra and Springsteen concerts. There are so many historic events that have taken place in this arena, but never before until tonight, during 50 years of college basketball at Madison Square Garden, has number one played number two. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Madison Square Garden. Len Bourbon along with Bill Raftery. Needless to say, we are thrilled to be able to broadcast tonight's game. Well, it's the only way we've gotten in the building, Len. That's right. Bill, when these teams met a month ago, St. John's broke Georgetown's 29-game winning streak. Georgetown did not shoot well. They missed 11 foul shots. So is that the first key for Georgetown tonight, to shoot better? Well, John would like them to shoot better, obviously, but I think they have to get Patrick to basketball. He only got seven shots. Their press has to turn the ball over, get those spurts, those two and three in a row that they're so good at. And, of course, the offensive rebounds, if they're not shooting well, they need the second effort. Now, in that game, as you mentioned, Patrick Ewing got just seven shots, only nine points. So is that the first key for St. John's to stop Ewing again? Yes. However, the transition is most important. Get back, challenge the shooter, and get back and play him inside. Come up with all the loose chains like a good bartender would. Anything on the floor has to be St. John's. And also a key, if the ball goes inside, two and three people inside on Patrick, he's got to spit the basketball back out. Many fans, Bill, feel this is just the second of four meetings between these two clubs. They'll meet again in the Big East title again, and again in the Final Four. So here tonight, Chapter 2 of 1 versus 2. Let's go back to the studio now to Dave Sullivan. 